Hello, today we're going to talk about the weed, green alkanet. First, let's ID it, and then I will dive more into why I think you've never heard of it. Here is the flower up close. There you can see the leaves up close. And here is zooming out onto the plant. And you might think if it's just one plant, what's the big deal? Especially if you see how much the bees love it. But then, as I move the camera around, you will see more and more and more. And more. And keep in mind, I have already pulled some from this area. I see the small one represents one that I probably pulled out and then it regrew. Now let me explain how I identified it. First, I saw that the flowers are blue. You can see the flower and I thought, you know what, that looks like a forget-me-not flower. So let me show you a forget-me-not. These are forget-me-not flowers. And this looks innocent enough. In fact, my favorite flower color is blue. So I love blue flowers and I really love the forget-me-nots because they're short and they're, I don't know, I think they're annual, but they do come back, but they're very low and, you know, they come, they bring um, nice color and then they go away. <laughs> so it has a flower that's similar to forget-me-not. Of course, it's bigger and it's white in the center instead of the yellow actually it's this actually shows both a yellow and a white center so it looks like it could be either yellow or white in the center and on the alkanet it's just it's the flowers bigger and it's white in the center so then I look at the leaves and then I tell myself those look like comfrey leaves but they're obviously not comfrey flowers. So let's go look at a comfrey for comparison. This is comfrey. You see the comfrey has bigger leaves and they're more glossy and lush. They look more mineral rich. You can see the flowers are substantially different. You still can't help how they're similar. Also, the comfrey is the comfrey leaves come later than the alkanet. So the alkanets will leaf out first and then the comfreys follow. So what else is in the same family? Borage. Let's look at a borage. These are my reseeding borage. Again, it has a similar appearance, but it's still quite distinct. And of the three plants that I just showed you, I will only eat the borage. After research, I convinced myself that I would eat comfrey if I had a stomach ulcer, but that's the only reason why I would eat it. And the borage is known for having a distinct kind of cucumber flavor. Also for the record, a comfrey is edible. Technically, I just think it's uh, too risky. So here is another alkanet. So after seeing the comfrey and the borage, you can go, yes, I could see how it is. It is in the same family, but it is still quite distinct. And this one, has white spots, which is interesting because I haven't really noticed them before. 
you know, it's funny is at the Hugo culture workshop, somebody had this growing at their house and didn't know what it was. And I said, that's the alkanet. I know because it took me a while, but I finally identified it. And several people disagreed with me. The way I identified it, it was I Googled comfrey leaves, forget me not flowers, something like that. And I finally, actually the first time I searched, I didn't find anything and I just gave up. And the second time I searched, probably over a year later, I finally came across a forum that had those keywords in it and someone mentioned Alkanet and all someone has to do is mention it and then you can go straight to Google Images and you go, yes, that is it. When I was attending a webinar about invasive weeds, King County was in attendance and people were asking them about their weeds. Um, and I asked about the Alkanet. I wanted to hear them provide more commentary on it. Neither of them had ever heard of Alkanet. So of all the classes that I've been to in person, no one's ever talked about it. All the webinars, YouTube videos I've seen, no one's ever talked about it. I'm gonna bet uh, that most people watching have never heard of it, but because it was such a great pollina a pollinator plant, and because at that time it hadn't been everywhere yet, I let it continue its life cycle. It drops seeds and now I could see why it is an invasive. Early on, you don't, you don't know what these plants are that you're seeing. You're trying to be nice and let everything coexist. And then something like this happens. And when you battle it late or later, it just creates more work for you. So they have a bit of a comfrey root system, but every year you let them live, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's best to get the root out as soon as possible. So again, the smaller ones are probably the ones I've tried taking out before and they've regrown. And here's a big one. Let me show you an even bigger one. If you let them persist, they can get as big as this one right here. Before I show you the root, I'm gonna treat it like a comfrey uh, chop and drop. So upside, look at all that green biomass that it created for me. So if you got to think of uh, positive, you can think that. But look at this field of alkanet right in here, all those blue flowers. I think that's all pretty recent. So let's see how this looks now. It was more than one plant, but it was mostly this plant, but it had babies. So there, there's some other stuff. And then by contrast, there was a forget-me-not growing right next to it, but it was a casualty because it was growing right next to it. And this is why I don't mind the forget-me-nots too. The whole thing just came out, right? So that's not an aggressive weed. I like, I like the forget-me-nots. But it's one of those casualty plants. So you can see here it was growing next to some smaller alkanets. So it had to get out of the way. And here too. So here's the smaller one, smaller one, smaller one, and here's the giant mama. So let's look at these root system. They also like growing next to rocks, which makes them hard to take out. This is, this is a problem. See, this one is growing between two rocks. And so I will break my tool trying to get that out. You can see it's deep enough that I can't just pull it from here. So when a weed becomes like that, you kind of have to 
you either take the rocks out or you gotta find a way to smother it. See, there's still root down there, so it'll come back. And this is the part I got out. I find even if you're gonna do the smothering method to let the root weaken over time, I still find it beneficial to get as much as the, as much of that root out as possible, just so it'll just it'll, you'll smother it fast that just that much faster. Let's look at a smaller one. This is why it's good to take them out early. Even this one, I didn't get the whole thing out, so that will probably regrow. But at least that's much more manageable. Look how beautiful and luscious this plantain is. Okay. And let's look at an even smaller one still. Even the small one, look at that, snapped off. Couldn't get the whole thing out. So, but anyway, would you rather take it out like that or take it out that big clumping one? Here's another small one. You can see that if you had nice loose soil, the whole thing would probably leave. But, oh, there you go. Here's a small one. But look how long that root is on the small ones. But still, that was like a few seconds. That one was just a nightmare. So you need to get them as young as possible. Look at this. We're next to a nasty buttercup. This was my very, very first weed that I battled on my property. If I was, if I started my YouTube channel several years ago, you would have heard nothing but this. This is a huge one though. There's obviously a lot of fertility in this spot. This is, this is really huge for a buttercup. But this is all I did. Let's take these out when I first moved here and started gardening. So I have a zero tolerance for these guys when I see them. But now it's the alphanet. Even the thistles, I don't mind too much because at least I can eat these. This beautiful peony that's about to pop. The alphanet is the weed that I'm dealing with this year and I gotta cut at least all of them to the ground before they drop their seeds but even then this is not my worst weed problem I'm going to do another video pretty soon about my next weed problem I'm going to be actually weed blocking this area anyway so I'll just remember to bring the weed block down here over these rocks and that is in a coming up video. It's a surprise what that weed is. And I just spent yesterday pulling some of them out. So I don't, oh, here we go. Here is a sneak preview of what's coming up.